welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get a makeup look inspired by that magical Snapchat filter that we are all obsessed with. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser as my primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my face because we want a clean, smooth canvas. Next I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I'm gonna put more than usual on my face because this is a medium coverage foundation and we all know that that Snapchat filter makes us have perfect skin. And this foundation is perfect because it gives that natural subtle glow just like the filter does. So I'm just gonna use a damp Real Technique sponge to dab all of the foundation in and just to make sure everything is even and seamless. Next I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade of light and I'm going to cover my dark circles with that concealer and also highlight the high points of my face including my nose and Cupid's bow. And then once again I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge and just blend everything in. Next, I'm gonna use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder, and I'm gonna use the Real Technique sponge to press that into my skin because it just makes everything look so even and perfect. And for an eye primer, I'm gonna use this Essence Concealer Stick and just blend that all over my eyes. And for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio Palette. And First I'm going to use the brow bone shade. This is just like a shimmery white color and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid. Next I'm going to go in with that brown crease shade. This is a really pretty color. It's just like a cool tone brown and it has some shimmer in it. And I'm just going to put that in my crease and blend it up towards the brow bone. And then next I am going to pack that shimmery pink eyelid shade all over the center of my lid and then also smudge some more of that crease shade underneath my waterline. And then next I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with no product on it and just kind of blend everything out and diffuse it upward. That way it looks more airbrushed and seamless. And I'm gonna go in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Cashmere. It's a really pretty gold shimmery shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm gonna use this e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner. And this is in the shade Midnight. And when I bought it, I thought it was actually gonna be black, but it's actually more of a really, really deep, dark midnight blue, which is actually really pretty. I, I really, really love this eyeliner. So I'm just gonna create a small, simple wing. And then I'm gonna take an eyelash curler and curl my lashes. Next, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara and coat my upper lashes with the mascara. And then I'm gonna take this ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Exit. I know this isn't drugstore, but it is very affordable. You can buy it online, and I will put the link for this eyeliner down below. And then next, I'm gonna use that mascara on my bottom lashes and then apply some Ardell lashes off camera. And then I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This is in the shade Ticket to Brazil. And I'm gonna do my best with contouring. I'm not very good at contouring, but I'm gonna carve out my cheeks with that bronzer and also put some of the bronzer on my forehead and chin. And then I'm also gonna put it on the sides of my nose for some light contouring and on the collarbones. Now it's time for a highlight. I'm gonna use the Natural Nude Palette by Physicians Formula. This is the most amazing drugstore highlight out there. I'm telling you, it's perfect. So I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones and actually I am pretty much gonna be putting this highlight all over my face because that filter makes you so glowy and makes you shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and I'm also gonna put that on my nose and Cupid's bow and chin. And then I'm also gonna put it on my cheeks, almost as you would with a blush. And then I'm also gonna put this underneath my eyelids. I know that's kind of weird, but 
I noticed on the filter there are a lot of highlight spots near the eyes. And I'm gonna put this on the inner corner of my eyes and put this on my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take the Milani blush in Tea Rose and lightly put that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go back in with that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and create those little sparkly specks that you see on your forehead that is in the filter. And with this pencil, I'm just gonna kinda map out where I want my specks because the color isn't super, super bright and we're gonna go over those spots with some gold eyeshadow in just a second. And then next I'm going to go back in with that Physicians Formula Highlighter Palette and I'm going to use one of the gold shades to go over those spots I made with the NYX pencil. And the lighting in my room is really bad so in a way they kind of look like little pimples and I apologize for that but in real life they looked more shimmery and gold. And you can use any gold highlight or eyeshadow that you want just as long as it's shimmery and metallic. And I'm going to use this glitter from Wet n Wild. This is like 99 cents at the drugstore and it's so pretty and sparkly. And I'm going to put that on the sides of my face near my temples and also on the forehead to make those gold spots stand out more. And a little bit on my chest as well. Next I'm going to use this ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Westy. This is just like a really pretty pale pink and I'm going to put that all over my lips. And then I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Eclair, and I'm gonna put that all over my lips as well. You can use any lip gloss you want, and even if you wanted to, you can put some highlighter, whatever you wanna do to make your lips shiny and sparkly. Next, I'm gonna put the butterflies in my hair. These were so easy to make. Basically, I just ordered some white plastic wall decals from Amazon, and I took some gold metallic paint and painted them, and then I hot glued some bobby pins to the bottom of the butterflies. It was super easy to make and I will link everything down below where I bought the decals and the paint. Finally, I'm gonna spray some glitter in my hair and that completes this look. This is such an easy DIY Halloween costume, especially if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money and you're just wanting something simple and pretty. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.